hey Sagittarius welcome back to my channel thank you all for being here how are you guys doing I hope everybody is doing well I know I have not been here um, I've been needing a break <laughs> I, I'm on a um, twin flame journey that is running me crazy okay like this journey is very um, I don't know I've been having tower moments y'all <laughs> so I've been needed to take a break you know so hopefully you guys are understanding of that and sometimes i do need to be in hermit mode to get myself together to get back grounded you know i want to be stable and ready to do you guys reading so anyways just remember that um this is a general reading and it's not going to fit for everybody so just take what resonates and leave what does not please don't forget to like comment subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you guys can be notified when i upload new videos for you all and just remember that timing is fluid. There's going to be no gender in Tarot. And um, yeah, this is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. So let's see what we have going on. We're going to be pulling from the What's the Tea Spill deck just to see what's going on with you guys. Let's just see what comes out. I'm not really a big fan of setting intentions. I do sometimes, but not all the time because I just like to see what comes out and deliver whatever spirit guides me to let you know like what's most important at this time so let's see and then i have a oracle deck for career and finances and then i'm going to pull an extra message for you guys from the wisdom of the oracle deck so that's the guidebook for that deck so let's see what we have going on sagittarius spirit guides angels ancestors for my sagittarius collective please allow me to be the channel and give me clear honest and accurate messages spirit for sagittarius sun moon rising venus and north node what do they need to hear this is going to be for your next 72 hours sagittarius so let's see what's going on for my sagittarius spirit guides please allow me to be the channel for sagittarius Please and thank you. Okay. Let's see. Bottom of the deck is karma. Someone is getting karma for the pain they cause, receiving a dose of their own medicine. Vice versa, good karma could be repaid. Okay. Somebody's getting some type of karma. Let's see. What else for Sagittarius? The next 72 hour spirit. Please give me the most important messages that Sagittarius needs to hear for their next 72 hours. What does Sagittarius need to hear, Spirit? Please and thank you. What is the most important messages that Sagittarius needs to hear? Next 72. do not want to talk huh <laughs> okay <laughs> no money no talk not wanting to talk unless money is involved hustling getting to the bag at all costs hmm so someone is definitely focused on their bread their money their ching 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 not really too much focused on anything else let's see what else Distorted masculine, abuse of power, force and domination, fear of weakness, competition driven, inability to praise another. Hmm. Okay, y'all. So y'all is masculine here, or there's a masculine energy that is probably stuck in their ego right now. They're they're focused on money. You know, that's that's being stuck in your ego. That's egotistical, that's 3D stuff. You know, because money is not really everything. This could be someone's karma though. Someone, um, hmm. <laughs> let's just keep going. Let, let's keep going before I talk. What else for Sagittarius spirit? Please and thank you. Narcissist, inflated sense of self importance, complete disregard for another's feelings, always needing attention. Yeah, someone here is stuck in their ego. They are. Yeah, what else for Sagittarius? There, I feel like there's something here that someone needs to be focused on besides money. I mean, money is not everything. 
it's not intelligent okay what else one more for Sagittarius spirit someone here <laughs> So it could be some, some oh okay let me see spirituality hater hating on your beliefs not liking that you're untra untraditional uncomfortable with your spirituality <laughs> this says off the grid being cooped up in their room not socializing being a hermit not on social media then we have projecting pointing out the actions of someone else but really they are they are the things you do <laughs> and fake Someone who isn't themselves to gain friends and popularity. They seem very nice to everyone, yet trash talks them behind their back in order to improve their social status. Okay, Sagittarius, what the hell do y'all have going on here? <laughs> we finna clar clarify these. I didn't mean to get th this much, but I guess that's just what um <sighs> once it comes out. Y'all know um, I pick up on third-party energy a lot, so let's just see what's going on here someone is, is a narcissist but i feel like someone is is beating someone at their own game put it that way someone is beating someone at their own game there's a lot going on here <laughs> a lot with the intelligent card you see how she how the checkerboard is here like somebody is is very much in tune with what's going on and I feel like somebody's trying to move in silence here. Or you, this could be you, Sagittarius. So let's see what kind of karma someone's getting. Spirit guys, angels for Sagittarius. Let's clarify the karma card. Why is karma here for Sagittarius. Why is karma here for Sagittarius? Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> okay, somebody's getting some good karma, I feel. But let's just see. Why is karma here for Sagittarius spirit? Next 72 hours. Hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. So someone here... <laughs> I feel like someone's getting good karma out of a situation because first of all, I feel like someone here has been ghosted. Someone here could have been ghosted or left behind or ignored. But I feel like it's because someone here had to go, you know, and do some soul searching. And I feel like whoever did the ghosting is, is going through karma for however they handled the situation. If you guys get where I'm coming from, because... um. yeah huh what else for karma spirit then we have death right here at the bottom of the deck so yeah someone is going through the dark night of the soul i feel like could be you could be anybody in your energy will of fortune okay major icon is coming out could be dealing with the taurus leo scorpio or aquarius but um that someone is de <laughs> someone is definitely getting karma and I feel like it's causing someone to go within and look within and do some soul searching, find out what exactly is going on with them. Yeah, five of cups. Someone is in regret about something here. Someone is definitely in regret about something and getting their karma in the will could be turning in your favor, Sagittarius. Whatever this person did to you, it's, you know, the will is turning and things are changing. There are a lot of changes being made in someone's life. Could be yours, could be the person I'm talking to, uh, could be the person that you're connecting to. Just switch the roles. So, yeah, one more for why is this Will of Fortune here? Spirit for Sagittarius. <laughs> the Tower in reverse and the Ace of Swords. Yeah. Yeah, someone is trying to avoid changes here. Someone is definitely scared of a lot of the changes that are going on in their life. Somebody is trying to avoid a tower moment, but it's like you can't. Things are changing anyway. With the Ace of Swords, I feel like somebody is forced to tell the truth to speak up. Or, you know, there will be some communication in the next 72 hours. Because someone, 
someone really doesn't want a tower to fall but i feel like something is destined to happen something is fated so, you know something is destiny something is someone's destiny here um <laughs> with the ace of swords here is like somebody is trying to come up with some ideas to kind of avoid this tower moment but they know that somebody knows that the only way that um things can can be right is if they come and speak the truth or tell the truth here um if this has something to do with legalities someone here is getting you know karma through court through through the um justice system things could be turning out in your favor here but yeah it, it could have something to do with money let's see why is no money no talk here spirit why is no money no talk here for sagittarius no money no talk <laughs> three of wands in re in reverse you could be dealing with the aries leo sagittarius and then the ace of wands wow the world the hangman jesus chariot sagittarius what do y'all have going on somebody in your life or you guys are going through a lot here um the three of wands in reverse talks about delays it talks about i feel like it also talks about missed opportunities here yeah if you guys were getting ready to travel then there possibly could have been delays in travel and travel here to get to this new beginning with the ace of wands in the world to start a new cycle yeah I, f I feel like somebody is trying to be you guys could be trying to really focus on yourself and focus on your money um that's why you know if this is you being in hermit mode you're just focused on yourself right now and um hmm yeah i feel like somebody let's see what else for no money no talk what else why is this three of wands here spirit for no money and no talk what is this about somebody is stuck in the past as well or can't move forward from the past yeah the two of cups yeah it's like it's like somebody Somebody could be being used for money, too. That's why they're stuck here. There could be something around money and it's stopping someone from moving forward here to this to this two of cups energy. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that you want to move towards. But I feel like somebody is being stopped from moving forward here. It could be because someone is stuck in their ego. Here's a distorted masculine here you know, distorted masculine energy that could possibly be trying to move forward with their person, but they are stuck somewhere. I feel like this person hmm, is, I, th I think their karma is, is um, them being stopped from moving forward because they need to tell the truth about something or there needs to be some clarity in a situation. So there, so a connection here could be blocked on purpose through spirit because somebody here has done a lot of damage, and it's like it's like someone is trying to avoid something from happening in their life, which is stopping them from moving forward. I feel like there's a tower that needs to fall. There's something that needs to fall in order for something to be built back up again. I feel, and somebody's trying to avoid going through certain changes. It could be out of fear. It could be out of, I don't know, not wanting to do the work or what. And so this is this person's karma. Somebody is, get, excuse me, somebody's getting hit with, with karma. Oh, I have the deck upside down. I'm about to say, why are these cards in reverse like this? So let's see, one more for no money, no talk. Let's see. Hmm. Why is no money, no talk here for Sagittarius? Hmm. 
the emperor yeah look at the distorted masculine in reverse <laughs> could be an aries so okay so it could be just because it's a masculine energy energy doesn't mean necessarily that it has to be a man it could be a woman you know that's masculine you know we all have the uh two energies feminine and masculine so it doesn't have to be a man but yeah it's like someone is not in their right mind right now and they're being blocked from moving forward to this love that they want because maybe of a money situation or something something around money um the emperor this could this could be someone here that this could be a father figure that's an absentee father like not there for their kids this could be someone that is um it's just being blocked from everything right now like i feel like somebody is being blocked the only thing that they can focus on is their money and that's not even going well for them because it's something that they've done here that they need to tell the truth about i feel or they need to make right and they're refusing to do so and it could be this love situation here or whoever they're in love with whoever they're they want to go towards is being blocked because there's something that they have to do first with the emperor in reverse it's like um an over overbearing overwhelming energy like somebody that abuses their power <sighs> yeah hmm. <laughs> what else is going on? why is this distorted masculine here why is this distorted masculine card here the hierophant could be dealing with the taurus three of pentacles the devil bruh One more, for, one more for the distorted masculine spirit. Three of Swords could be dealing with the Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, and the Five of Swords. Okay, yeah, it it it's something here about a love connection or some. It doesn't have to be love for you know some of you, but there's somebody here in y'all's energy that is playing mind i feel like somebody here there, there's a spiritual path someone is supposed to be going down and they're being blocked from, from it they they are because there's somebody here there could be a third party with the three of wands and the three of swords that somebody needs to get rid of it could be a marriage that somebody needs to get out of that's blocking this this connection here because somebody with the two of cups is like a mutual love it's, it's a mutual union you see how these two people are staring at each other they love each other so there's two people that loves love each other here but something is being blocked it could be that um it could be anybody trying to block a union i feel like i, I do feel strongly here somebody has been playing a lot of mind games somebody could be married or in a commitment that they're stuck in that's just really doing nothing but breaking them down breaking them you know really fucking them up and um somebody just feels defeated in a situation like they like somebody just feels like there's no hope or they're you know they can't get out of something when they can because the five of swords is all about the mind too the, the swords are all about mental so why is the three of swords here spirit what is this three of swords about like yeah there i feel like there's a commitment here the moon in reverse yeah something there's something that came out about someone here and i feel like someone is trying to move forward but somebody here is is um could be money hungry which is the reason why a marriage could have came about in the first place because someone just got married for money and someone here is a narcissist they play they play mind games that's what they do for a living so yeah i just feel like there's a whole bunch of drama going on here i do but definitely someone here is definitely distorted because with the moon in reverse it also talks about intuition and somebody's intu intuition is being distorted here somebody is not thinking too clear somebody's really messed up inside wow okay why is narcissist here the strength card yeah someone is trying to find the strength to move forward but i feel like someone is scared someone is anxious someone just doesn't it's like fearing the unknown there, there's a wish fulfillment here 
and the three of cups yeah there, there's supposed to be some type of reunion or something or reconciliation or something like that but someone is really stuck in their head they're worried about something they could be worried about how they've played games here how they've been manipulative and got themselves stuck here with the third party could be for some of you but something definitely came out about somebody playing games or doing something crazy in a commitment or blocking somebody from going towards someone. Hmm. But yeah, somebody is, you know, there needs to be some courage and some confidence to move forward. And I feel like it's to move forward into another commitment with the strength card facing, with the person on the strength card facing the um, Hierophant. It's like, it's like someone could definitely be um, praying a lot here. Like I'm hearing praying and really, really, um, someone could, here could be crying a lot, really asking for forgiveness or trying to figure out how to move on from something that they just cannot get out of. Why else is a narcissist here, spirit? Two of Wands. <clears throat> Yeah, there has to be a choice that's going to be made, uh, that needs to be made. You're going to have to make a choice, Sagittarius, if, you know, which path you want to go down. This is your card. So are you going to have the strength to move forward on another path or are you going to go on a different path? Wow, look at how these cards... You see how the light here, it's a direct <laughs> light here. So I feel, I feel like somebody here knows what path they need to go down, but I feel like there's been so many games and they fucked up so much that to the point, you know, if this was a third party, the third party's heart is broken, their heart is broken, and the person that they're going towards that they love, is his heart is broken. Like, it's just, somebody just feels like it's a dead end situation. It's a lose-lose, something is not gonna work. It's, it's like somebody wants to go down their right path, whatever spiritual connection, because I feel like this two of cups with the two of cups and the hierophant here, there is some type of spiritual connection here, especially with the emperor. But I just feel like somebody is, is distorted. Somebody can't think straight right now, but there, there's a certain path that needs to be gone down in this, in this lifetime and somebody fucked it up. And so that's somebody's karma. What else for narcissists? Hmm. Spirit, I don't want all of these cards. The magician. Yeah, somebody, okay. Six of Wands, the Four of Pentacles. So, so I feel like somebody is trying to regain their strength. They are. So they can become powerful again. So they can manifest what it is that they want with the magician. Somebody is building their strength up to either get away from a narcissist or to get out of their narcissistic ways, get out of their own way. Cause I feel like somebody here has been in their own way. It's been blocking their own blessings here with the, um, six of wands. I feel like there's, there's going to be a victory and success in this situation. But I, I feel like in order for that to happen, someone needs to stop trying to control something. The Four of Pentacles is all about possessiveness, being controlled, or, you know, having trying to have control over a situation, being greedy. It could just mean that somebody is holding on to someone because they really want to be with this person. They really want the success and the, and the happiness. But I feel like somebody is trying to control a situation. It's not going to work if you keep trying to control because it's going to come off as you're distorted. You're playing mind games. It's not going to work in your favor. It's just not if you if you keep trying to control something. So what I'm picking up for someone. Um, also. Huh. With narcissists being here in the magician, somebody could definitely um I don't know why I'm hearing separation spells or something. Somebody could have been trying to confuse someone. 
because like the strength card is not facing the magician is going this way towards the hierophant and it does say someone is a spiritual hater so someone could definitely be a spiritualist here someone knows that they're supposed to be with someone and there could have been someone in their energy that's just money hungry they were married to this person or with this person that could have been trying to take someone off of their path here because someone here knows that there's going to be a victory and success into something and someone has been holding on to another person when they're just supposed to be letting them go you know it could have could be a karmic yeah but something came out about the mind games and the manipulation there, there's definitely some manipulation here i'm feeling that energy so let's see why is projecting here someone someone is 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 gaining that intelligence though and someone is outsmarting someone so because because you know it said it says being a hermit the hermit card is out here someone is definitely like trying to get away from narcissistic behaviors either them you know trying to get away from themselves and trying to work on themselves or there's someone in someone's energy that they're just gonna you know that they're trying to get away from in these next 72 because someone here is definitely doing something that's not cool so why is projecting here spirit i didn't even mean to spend this much time sagittarius on this part <laughs> Why is projecting here? Seven of Wands and the Judgment. Yeah. Someone, the Ten of Wands. Well, the Seven of Wands is pointing out the actions of someone else, but really they are, they are the things you do. Yeah. Someone here likes to play victim a lot. They do. And they like to, they like to run guilt trips on people. With the seven of wands here, someone is definitely, someone could have blocked someone through phone, through email, however y'all communicate. Someone is definitely blocked and guarded against someone that likes to point the finger. That's someone that's a narcissist. This is what they do. And there, there's been an awakening. There's been a complete and total awakening or someone is going through an awakening in the next 72 hours about someone here that's fake. Someone who isn't themselves. To gain friends and popularity like yeah i feel like someone someone here does a lot of <sighs> trying to fit in or someone here is just fucked up <laughs> that's just period and i feel like someone has been in a relationship with this person for a very long time or just dealing with this friend whoever the hell it is for a long time and now they're seeing them for who they truly are and it's time to move forward so that's why there's going to be someone being blocked or being cut out of, of of your life here because of the awakening the awakening that you're going to go through or you know this could be you realizing that this is what you do here you point the finger you blame shit on people and you don't take responsibility for what you do and you could be getting blocked by somebody because someone has awakened to the bullshit what else for projecting Someone here is going to make a choice to block and, you know, someone could be having to defend themselves, like really defend themselves against this person. Three of Cups. Yeah, it, it's some it's in somebody's friend group here. Somebody is realizing the type of friends that they have or the type of people that they've been dealing with and they're they're blocking them out. Yeah, with the Page of Swords, it's like realizing the truth, realizing that someone has definitely felt left out in the cold here and betrayed i feel someone has been neglected ghosted abandoned like i just feel like it's a whole bunch of bullshit going on here uh sagittarius <laughs> um let's see why is this three of cups here spirit for sagittarius what is this three of cups about eight of cups yeah like i said walking away the devil yeah well, yeah death okay Walking away from toxic friendships, walking away from things that are not emotionally fulfilling. And since this is facing the three of cups, someone's goal here is to probably reconcile with someone, someone that they love, because the two of cups is here, you know, in the midst of all of this chaos here. I feel like whoever the person is that you love or however the situation is going for you, whoever's in your energy, there has been so there is there is a lot going on here that maybe this person doesn't know about 
And it's just sad. It's a sad situation, I feel. But it's like, you know, with the Eight of Cups um, walking, you know, looking towards the Three of Cups, it's like there could be a reconciliation or celebration coming up for you, Sagittarius. Could be with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. But you walking away is, gonna, is going to make you feel happy. It's going to cause for a celebration here. It is. This is a friend group or someone here that you were dealing with. Time is up. <clears throat> Time has definitely ran out. So let's see. Let's get the um really. Let's get we got the temperance in the sun, yeah. Let's get the <clears throat> potential outcome, Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on. What is the potential outcome for Sagittarius spirit? Potential outcome for the situation. Please and thank you. What is the potential outcome for Sagittarius? The Empress. Look, the Empress and the Emperor. So, in the Four of Wands. <laughs> so, in the end, for the potential outcome, I feel like there's going to be a feminine energy here. Whoever's in the feminine energy, it could be a man, a woman, doesn't matter. Um... I feel like all of this shit here has really helped someone ascend. And this is Empress. This masculine here is distorted. But I feel like they are going to, to have an awakening and realize what they're doing. It could be to this Empress here. Whoever they're in love with, since the Emperor is in reverse over the Two of Cups and the, the Empress is here now. This Empress here has ascended past all of this, has ascended through all of this. And who, like wow there's literally only the emperor and the empress here i've never seen that i usually see a lot of court cards but i don't here so literally i feel like someone is definitely focused on trying to get to this four of wands this happiness this happiness this joy this success the stability it could be a twin flame dynamic that you're going towards here but i definitely feel like some the focus here is to get to their empress somebody here is just going through a lot in the background like i just feel like it's a lot of drama someone here has been going through a lot of delays but i feel like with this with this this masculine this masculine is is trying to avoid tower moments happening and it's like just let the tower fall you can't avoid it it's something for your own good and it's karmically supposed to happen someone here if your twin flame has hurt you in any type of way they have to get their karma just like if you're you know you can still be the empress and go through karma i mean people just because you're the empress don't mean that you're perfect or whatever the case may be you know what i'm saying but with this empress showing up upright i just feel like there is going to be <sighs> someone here is going to ascend that's what i just feel i just feel like Somebody here has learned lessons. Somebody here is gonna be in like a creative energy. They're going to be trying to birth something new in their life. And it could be that this Empress here is probably gonna to have to move on or take a break from all of this because if she was involved in any of this third party shenanigans, then I'm quite sure it's took a toll on her. So I feel like maybe this Empress could just be focusing on her stability, her, her money, her well-being just focusing on herself i feel like you know let's see let's clarify why is this empress here spirit why is this empress here for sagittarius let's just get some more information knight of wands the star okay so here you are sagittarius so yeah while this empress is focusing on herself focusing on her creative endeavors whatever she's working on here whatever is bringing her abundance and success in her life or you know whoever's in the feminine energy i'm just saying her because it's a woman on the card don't pay it any mind um there's going to be somebody rushing in passionately so it could be you on your way to come get this empress here with the star could be an Aquarius or a Taurus or Libra. Let's see. Why is this Knight of Wands here? Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, because, okay. So it could be you on your way back to get this person here. This Empress is going to be in all her glory. She's probably not even going to know that you're coming. 
but there, there's going to be somebody coming in with the knight of wands passionately bold this person that's why i clarified the knight of wands because the knight of wands can usually be a player and i just want to make sure that it's not but um the seven of pentacles talks about investment so this person here i feel like this knight of wands energy has definitely been in and out of this empress's life or whoever this is but i feel like they're going to want to come in somebody's going to want to come in to invest in this empress and you know be long term but i do feel like that someone is just passionate about you they're they're sexually attracted to whoever this is and they just can't help it you see how like this volcano is in the back <laughs> like this person wants you want this person sagittarius and i feel like you're coming in with good intentions like you want to invest in this person so that's what it looks like it's going to happen in the next 72 so yeah <laughs> I just had to make sure of that I really had to make sure so let's see so let's see that was the first part of your reading Sagittarius let's see what else we have going on I'm trying to make sure these cards are going to be flipped up right when I put them back together I want nothing to be in reverse so let's see what we have coming out for your career portion let's do a little part of that let's put these to the side yeah, it could, it could be a jealous ex or a jealous whoever the fuck. I'm so tired of hearing about jealous ass people. I don't even know why that's a thing. Because <laughs> I don't even have that bone in my body. Like, who gets jealous over somebody else and what they have? Or what they're destined to have? You know? Like, it's just... Ooh, it's just ridiculous. Oh! What? Yeah, somebody's energy is definitely all over the place. <laughs> because I'm all over the place. So, let's see let's see dropping cars and shit so let's see let's see what comes out of this money oracle for you guys i love this deck i really really do i do love this deck a lot a lot a lot a lot so let's see spirit guides angels for sagittarius and their career and finance department what do they need to hear for their career and finances for the next 72 hours what do they need to hear for their career and finances spirit let's just get a good shuffle all right what do they need to hear for their career in finances let's just pull a few and see what they say for sagittarius spirit sun moon rising venus north and node make sure you guys go check out your other placements work hard and silence yeah i feel like that's exactly what someone is trying to do but they're being disturbed by someone <laughs> but that was for that reading so yeah work hard and silence sagittarius make your money in silence there could be somebody here trying to come after what you're trying to do so let's just see what else comes out for sagittarius sagittarius money manager this card could indicate your career or finances could take a giant leap forward. Consider careers in money management, banking, accounting, or anything in finance. You can expect a happy outcome when it comes to your finances. Okay, that looks good, Sagittarius. So whoever's good with money, if you guys were thinking about getting a career in banking or anything like that, now would be the time to apply, you know? Take action. Yes, whatever your question, this whatever your question this is telling you to go for it do not procrastinate or wait to take the next step to get ahead just do it nothing will change if you don't take action don't let opportunity pass you by yeah what else for Sagittarius what else does Sagittarius need to hear in regards to their finances mistakes a past mistake left you financially insecure and unsure what to do your current financial situation was your own doing accept responsibility for it learn from your mistakes and let it go you will get through it yeah just like it said in your your general reading here whatever this was for you somebody here was definitely money hungry i feel like somebody really got you for your money i do but just keep working hard everything looks good so let's see student Work with a mentor to learn new skills or, t or teach you how to implement your plans. You could be in school to pursue higher education or work for a school district. Teach yourself to succeed with money or get a financial advisor to teach you. 
okay then we have angelic help this is a time to trust in the universe and know you will be provided for there is a career or blessing lining up for you so stay positive and believe pay attention to the signs your angels send you during this time okay i was going to pull some tarot for it but it's like do i really need to pull tarot then we have windfall y'all finna get some money you're about to receive a windfall of money or pay raise money is currently in a positive cycle this is a great time to treat yourself or make that big purchase. Some of you all could be trying to do spiritual work too. That's going to bring you a lot of money here with spiritual spirituality behind this. Yeah, so I'm just going to leave the tarot where it is. I don't need to do that. This this deck literally, this is my second time using this deck, guys. I used it um for a personal reading for the first time and this is a really cool deck. <laughs> I love that deck. Okay. That was straight to the point. So I'm definitely about to start using that for my readings. You know, comment below if you like that. You know, it's straight to the point. Not a whole lot of thinking you have to do. Just straight to the point. So let's just see what else you need to hear. What else does Sagittarius need to hear overall, Spirit? What do they need to hear at this time? What could help them move forward with any situation that they're going through at this time? What do they need to hear? Please and thank you. Please give me clear, honest, and accurate messages for Sagittarius. What do they need to hear? Okay. I love pulling from different decks, y'all. It makes the reading more um precise. That's the word. Clean it up. That's at the bottom of the deck, number 21. Let's see what comes out. What else does Sagittarius need to hear? Chaos and conflict. <laughs> yeah. And then it's come to the edge. So that's like taking a leap of faith. Hmm. Starting for a new beginning. So let's see what this is. 33, chaos and conflict. Page 124. Let's see what this says for you. Then we're going to be done, guys. So it says the Oracle message is... Opposing forces come together to create a turbulent atmosphere, but consider the value of chaos that serves you well as you become unmoored by it. Scattered to the winds, you leave behind the parts of yourself you no longer need and disperse seeds to reinvent yourself anew. Although the conflict appears to exist externally, its essence is also internal, projected outward and causing disarray. You may find yourself at cross purposes with someone else facing a storm you feel you can't control. Yet every storm passes and chaos leads to a reordering of things. Conflict provides a way to see more than one side of a situation. Look upon this as just a moment in time when you may need to take shelter and step away from the fray. Don't be too eager to fight. This is a time to understand rather than be understood. Yeah. Yeah, Sagittarius. So there's definitely some conflict going on in your life. And I feel like you will get past it. You have good karma coming towards you. You know, I mean, that's not going to be for every Sag every Sagittarius. <laughs> but for most of the collective that watches Tarot, I mean, I feel like most of you guys are the good ones here. So that was your message Sagittarius just let me know if you like the um, career part of this reading if you want me to pull tarot on it or if this was straight to the point just let me know for you know I like trying out new things with my collective audience so yeah this was your message um, I hope it helped if it did please like comment subscribe and leave me some comments turn on your notification bell and I will talk to you guys later bye Sagittarius